Eidos. I got a tip last night from my fence. Heartless Perry. A nobleman named Lord Julian had some sort of quarrel and showed up at a local inn well after nightfall and in a foul mood. He's carrying a velvet bag about the size of a man's fist and it never leaves his sight. Sounds likely to be valuable. But I'll know for sure when I steal it from him. Perry sent over a floor plan of the place, the Blue Heron Inn, Finding his lordship won't be hard. His room number will be in the guest register, if I can get to the front desk to read it. The inn will have guards, but not as many as a private estate. That should make things easy, which is one of the reasons I'm willing to try it without knowing for sure what the take will be. Lord Julian is so protective of that bag. There's got to be something of value in it. Be home soon, drinking.
do to have anyone think he was just Julian. about. His lordship has gone for a walk. Can't have gone far. Sunset, the supply wagon comes through that gate and into the courtyard, and no one looks twice. Arrange for your men to be inside one evening, and then we cut our way through. Five good men against twenty, and my accursed cousin. My lord, listen. There is a passage leading into the castle from the courtyard. I can open it for you when you give me the signal. The torch in the lion's head sconce. You must put it out. The Lion's Head Torch. Yes. And when I reach the vault and hold the bloodline opal, I will take my place as head of the family. The Lady Elizabeth will be waiting. Even now she'll be flattering him, giving me time to return. Only the medallion is the only key, my lord. You must keep hold of it. You forget Lord Ember has another. I hear he guards it with his life. My lord, I wish only for peace in the household. The opal is mine. I won that bet, Morris. I won it. Nothing like mixing in society, especially if it comes with good loot. The velvet bag turned out to hold a bronze medallion stamped with a griffin. Valuable enough, but more interesting was the conversation I overheard between Lord Julian and the cook. Especially the part about a huge opal and a conspiracy for stealing it. I'd hate to have anyone but me get a stone like that. But I need a better idea where to start looking. If I show the medallion to my fence, I'm sure he'll know more. Heartless Perry always does. <laughs> 